wake up. Mm, uh, what happened? You lost consciousness for a short time due to a temporary insufficient supply of oxygen to the brain. You fainted. You okay? Yeah, I, I think I was dreaming and... Kimberly sees the hologram of the white tiger coin again. It... it wasn't a dream, was it? Uh, no. Hang on just a sec. I need to know I got this straight. You're saying this power coin could bring my brother back to life? Perhaps. It's why we preserved the body. I'm sorry we had to keep this from you. I hope you can understand our reasons why. But I thought the coins chose their hosts. Can someone be chosen by a second one? Yes. As long as they are no longer connected to their previous coin. Since the green dragon coin is no more, it should not be an issue. But what if the new coin doesn't react to him? I believe it will. I believe a second coin will see in him exactly what his first did. If what I was told is true, the coin will judge his worthiness. If he is as good as you all say he is, then it will grant him new life. I must tell you, though, that this resurrection will only work one time for one person. You must make a choice. Decide if you will use it on Tommy, keep it for yourselves, or save it for someone else. Does it need a body? Yes. I am sorry, Jason, but your family... Don't say it. I know. There's no choice. We're getting this coin. If there is even a small chance it can bring Tommy back, we have to take it. Damn right. Let's go. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're in two. You don't need to ask. I'm coming. The planet will still need protecting. Only one team can go. The others will stay here and protect the Earth. But we need both teams to call the Zords. I have been working on them some more. I believe I can modify the Thunder Zords to be called and used by only one of their ranger pair. You will still share it, of course. But we could swap out? Give one team a break every now and then? I believe so. So which team goes? Ours. He's one of us, he's our ranger, and he's our friend. We have to do this. But he's my brother. I have to go. David. No, you guys may have been his team. She may have kissed him a few times, but he is my baby brother. I've known him all his life. It is my job to save him, not yours. I'll stay. What? Billy. You said you needed a full team of rangers. Well, you only need one blue ranger. And if these modifications to the Zords work, I can call the Pegasus just as well as David can. Yes, Billy, but the design comes from David's powers. You will not be able to sync your coin with the Zord. You won't have the knowledge of its abilities unless you recall them. I've been in Zords long enough. I'll figure it out. If David needs to go, then I will stay here and be the Blue Ranger so we can use the Thunder Megazord. All right. Billy, don't you want to be there for Tommy? Of course. But David's right. It's his family. He has to go. I have no objections. So? Where do we find this coin? It is located on the planet Phaedos. An old ally of mine has acted as a guardian over the power for hundreds of years. She will help you to locate the power coin. Can we be teleported that far? To another solar system? No. You will need a ship. One with cloaking shields, so that Zed will not be able to detect you. And where do we find a ship like that? My ship is equipped with such a device. Come with me. This is the vessel I used to find the Thunder Rangers, to bring them here once my sensors found you. He looks at the group, taking out a device and pressing it. Moments later, silver panels fade into existence one by one, revealing a huge spaceship parked on three landing struts. It is all silver and black, the scoring had worn down plates showing its age, but it seems to pulse with a blue light. That's one big spaceship! It's nuts, guys. The inside's like being on Star Trek or something. I will pilot you there. Come. Kaku presses a button on his remote to lower the entry ramp. The group that are leaving turn to those that are not. Hugs and well wishes all around as they say their goodbye. Good luck. Thanks. Sounds like we'll need it. Catherine hugs Kimberly. I hope this is true. I hope the power can bring him back to you. Yeah. Kimberly looks over at Jason. I just wish they had told me. Things are going to be messy now. Hey, 
That doesn't matter. All that matters is getting him back. Remember that, okay? Billy and Trini are holding each other in a long embrace. Don't do anything stupid till I get back. And take some time to practice piloting this word. I will. Come back safe, alright? Yeah. Trini rushes to kiss Billy. It lasts only a second before she pulls back. I... Uh, Trini, I, I thought... Just for luck. Just in case. Yeah, okay then. Good luck. Billy blushes as Trini walks away. She can't suppress her smile as she heads towards the entry ramp. David walks past Billy, hitting him on the back. Don't trash our sword. I won't. Good luck. I hope you bring him back. Thanks. Me too. The excursion team is on Kaku's ship. Kaku presses a few buttons and pushes forward on a throttle. The blue engine roars to life, the landing legs retract. The other rangers look on as Kaku's vessel raises up and blasts off into space. The cloak of the ship is activated as the ship enters the black void of space. You had better strap yourselves in. The next part is a little bumpy. Whoa, look at this. The group looks out at planet Earth, now a tiny blue sphere. I... We teleported to Mars last time. I didn't get a chance to see this. Yeah, and on the moon, too. We were in the Reposo the whole time. You'll get used to space. A lot of black and a lot of stars. Billy would love this. The technology on the ship is more advanced than the command center. All of its standard fixture on Zedonian vessels. Wait, this is one of theirs? Yes. My world was overtaken, just as Zordon's was. Space travel was the first thing they took away. I commandeered this vessel many years ago. You stole it? Yes. Jason looks to Kimberly. She is staring at the side of Earth and the solar system growing more distant. Light speed engines online. Three, two, one. Engage! The stars ahead streak. The vessel enters a blue, white, and purple tunnel of light. We are at light speed factor 4. ETA to Phaedos. 28 Earth hours. 46 minutes. Goldar sits uncomfortably in one of a row of chairs. No longer in gold armor. No longer blue. He is still very tall but is now a pink-skinned, brown-eyed human being. Long black hair tied into a ponytail. The surgeons did excellent work. He just hopes they can change him back just as well. He sits inside the White House in Washington, D.C., waiting to speak to a man whose life he has threatened to end on more than one occasion, the president of the nation called the United States of America. He has been waiting for what feels like an hour, starting to lose his patience. He looks up to the assistant's desk as a phone rings. Yes, sir? Yes, he's here. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll send him in. The president will see you now, sir. <clears throat> Goldar tries to growl but can barely manage it in this form. He stands and nods his head in irritation before heading into the white door on his right. A silver-haired man looks up to him as he enters the room. Please, have a seat. The president sits, Goldar opposite of him. Around them sits several other humans, some in suits, some in uniforms. Our contact said you have some items that we could use to level the playing field, as it were. Indeed. The company I represent wishes to remain anonymous, but we can provide the weapons. For a fair price. What are we talking? Three hundred million. I'm sure it's nothing for your government to afford. No, it isn't. We also want to stay on as advisors, with final say on all actions taken with the coins. You want a seat at the table? It's our coins. Take it or leave it. What about your contact, Miss Goodson? Never met her. 
She spoke to my colleague to set up this meeting, but she is merely a bridge. You and I are what matters. Are you sure these coins work? The coins work with proper hosts. Selection is important. However, these ones will not be as limited in that as the ones the Power Rangers use. We will see to it that they work with whomever we choose. Selection? I had no idea. This is why we are here, Mr. President. So, do we have a deal? Well, I'll have to talk it over with my advisors. You do that. I know you will make the right choice. <coughs> Kim? Kim, are you in there? <coughs> yeah. Can I come in? Sure. Space sickness? Something like that. It's the space flight. The thought of bringing Tommy back to life. And then knowing how difficult it's going to be between me, Tommy, and Jason if he comes back. All of it is just too much to process. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'll have my own problems when we get back. I never told my mom about our impromptu trip. I knew she would just ask a million questions that I didn't have time for, so... Total grounding when I get back. I know that feeling. After Chicago, my dad is around more again. Plus, my mom laid off the drinking since Jason moved in. I guess she's trying to make sure to be there for him too, you know? So, speaking of you and Jason... I don't know. Nothing has happened since that night. There was some weirdness at the party, but that's it. The truth is, I'm not even thinking about me and Jason anymore. Just me and Tommy. That's something you have to tell Jason. Kimberly looks across the ship. Jason is far away, sitting next to Zack on a circular sofa. So, this is nuts. Two-day round trip. My folks are gonna freak. Good thing we only need one team to fight, because my ass is gonna be toast for a long while. At least you have people who care. Oh, uh, Jace, I... Forget it. So, have you spoken to Kimberly since... We all found out certain things? Nope. You kinda need to, dude. Say what? If this power works, then we can bring Tommy back. What was I? A rebound? A coping mechanism? There's nothing to say to that. We're done. You sound like you're sorry there's a chance he can come back. No, no, I'm not. Because alive or dead, Tommy is always going to stop me and Kim from being together. And there's no choice. He gave his life for us, and he's our friend. We have to get him back. Amen to that. How are you coping with all this? Which part? Being a Power Ranger? There being a second team we have to share our Zords with? Flying in space at the speed of light like we're in a Star Wars movie? I guess I've just accepted it all now. This is my life. It's insane and mind-blowing and all of that. But I wouldn't change it for anything. It still feels the same for you? After everything? You can still... Enjoy it? Yeah. Why can't you? I don't know. And it's not just about my home or my family. It's everything. It's us sharing our base, our zords with strangers. It's not knowing what to do and... Watching as Rocky takes over because he knows more about these new powers? I just don't feel like this is my team anymore, Zack. Our team. Dude. This time last year we were all strangers. Now you guys are my best friends. All my other friends back home have drifted away because I'm spending all my time with you. And I don't care. They have no idea what we've been through. What we've done. These new rangers are good people. They'll be friends soon enough. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like after everything that's happened, I... I think I need a break. After this, I mean. After we get this coin and Tommy back. And who will keep our asses in line? You do a pretty good job when I'm busy brooding. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm a hothead, not a leader. 
You are. That's why your coin chose you. Tommy was too. And this new power sounds amazing. Maybe? Hey, let's see if this works first, huh? We can talk about this after. <sighs> it's getting late. At least according to California time. Why don't we get some sleep? Yeah. We have arrived. Well, will you look at that? An alien planet. Billy would love this. Strap in. I'm bringing us in to land. They'll set us down a few miles out from the temple. This is so we don't set off any defenses. Defenses? As I said, the power is protected. Whoa. This is the planet's black coast. Follow the trail of stones and it will lead you straight to the temple. Wait, you're not coming? No, I cannot. The force that you call the Morphing Grid is strong here. My species is unable to tolerate it. Too much can kill us. You picked a bad profession to get into then. We do what we must in order to combat evil. So this world is strong with power? It is why it was chosen. The immense power masks the coin. That is why Zed has never found it. This planet is strong in the morphing force, huh? Okay, now I know I'm in Star Wars. I will return in 12 hours. If I cannot contact you, then I will assume the worst. Good luck, Rangers. So, this is Phaedos. Doesn't look so bad. Kinda like Earth except for the black sand and red oceans. We better get moving. Yeah, exactly like Earth, except for the giant birds coming right at us. Everybody get ready! It's morphin' time! Ah! What the hell is that? I don't know, but the bird things hate it more than we do. They're leaving! You're safe now. The group looks at the blonde, human-looking warrior behind them. She is dressed in a loincloth and matching emerald bra. What? Who the hell are you? The woman strikes at Jason with her staff. I said you're safe from them, not from me. This planet will not fall to Zed. Zed? No, we're with Zordon. We came for the white power coin. Liar. I saw your vessel. I'll make sure your bones line this coast like all the others. Lady, we just used Zed's ship to travel. Master Kaku brought us. Look, we even have morphers. Morphers? You are rangers. You're the ones Kaku spoke of. Yeah, we're the Power Rangers, lady. Now you want to back your fine ass up and off our friend there? If the coins chose you, if Kaku trusts you, then so must I. I'm sorry for attacking your friend. No, I'm done. <laughs> I am Dulcia, the guardian of this place. Those creatures were this world's inhabitants. Pests. For over 200 years I have stayed here. Immortal, making sure the likes of the Lord Zed never got his hands on the white light. But I am just the first line of defense. You have power coins. You have powers. Why do you need this one so much that you would risk yourselves for it? Our teammate. Our friend. He died fighting Zed. We are told that this power could restore him. It could. If he is worthy of it. He is. 
The temple's guardian will be the judge of that. But you said... I am the guardian of this island. He is the guardian of the temple. He will judge who he and the power will serve. Whatever it takes. Very well, Power Rangers. Follow me. I don't know. I just wish Zed would attack with something futile again like the battle suits. I just want to do something. Take my mind off things. Like Trini? No! <laughs> Hold on, I've got a text. Might be the others. Cap brings the phone away from her ear and looks at the message. It's from a withheld number. It says simply, we need to meet. Now. She knows who it's from. Hey, I have to go. Everything okay? Oh yeah, just my dad needs me to call him. Speak later, Billy. Okay, bye. Cat hangs up and looks at the text. She replies at once. After school, Golden Gate Park. She gets a reply a few moments later with a picture of the park, a bench highlighted on a satellite map. A few hours later, she makes her way to the park and sits at the pictured bench. Bandora is already sitting there in her human guise, dark oval sunglasses over her eyes. She looks at Cat once, and then looks forward as she speaks. Catherine knows to do the same. There has been a development. Zed doesn't know it, but I am aiding him in creating a ranger team of his own. One that will answer, to a point, to this land's government. What? Look ahead. Cat does as she is told, shifting her weight and looking around. We need people the coins will choose. You will teach them how to use the coins. Me? You have experience, though limited. Do you believe there are any of your teammates that might defect with you? We will have only one set of rangers. The more numbers we have, the better chances of beating them. One, perhaps. David, your old Green Ranger's older brother, he isn't happy with the way things are going, but... But what? That could change. Soon. Why's that? Kaku and Zordon have found another power coin of the same set as ours. It's protected on an alien planet, but it's said to be able to bring people back from the dead. They are going to use it on Tommy, if they can get it. Interesting. The great power. I always thought it was a myth. I think it's real enough. They've gone to the planet Phaedos to find it. Then we must stop them from succeeding. If they bring him back, it will give them a powerful ally and could unite the team. I will make contact with my man inside Zed's ship. Send word. Have they all gone off world? No. Five of us have stayed to protect the Earth. Then I will cause some of my new style of chaos. Make sure you and your friends are distracted so they don't send aid. Well done, Catherine. That will be all. When can I see them? They're safe. For now. Make sure they stay that way by keeping silent and continue doing this fine work. Of course, my Empress. You may go. As Cat stands and walks away, Rita brings out a cell phone and presses to call someone. Scorpina, get to San Francisco now. We need to cause some mayhem. My lord, my lord. What do you want, Finster? Half the rangers are off world. They are going after the white power coin. There's a white power coin? Where? On the planet Phaedos. They intend to use it to resurrect the fallen green ranger. How did you discover this information? I hacked the ranger's communications frequency. Now we know all. Very good. Captain. Yes, my lord. Prepare to leave the system. Set course for Phaedos. Maximum speed. At once, Emperor. Helm, make it be so. Course plotted and laid in. Engage when ready. I retire to my chambers. Inform me upon arrival. Get some rest. We will continue to the temple in the morning. Any predators we should be looking out for while we're sleeping? Yes, but you are capable, young men and women. You can handle them. Good to know. So I guess we're just sleeping in the open? If you wanted tents, you should have packed them. I always sleep in the open. Oh. Okay. Your coin is not like the others. 
It is of a different set. Mine's from the Thunder Coins. Theirs, well, I don't think they ever gave them a name, but theirs are like mostly dinosaurs. I took their Blue Ranger's place for this. I would have thought it wise to keep a power team together. I am surprised Zordon didn't as well. The guy we're trying to bring back. It's my younger brother. I see. You understand the power may not work as you wish. Even if the power restores him, he may never fully be your brother again. It has never been tried. No one can know of what will occur. Death is rarely a force to be toyed with so flippantly. I don't care. I'm not leaving this planet without that coin. Even if it costs you your own life? Yep. I'd happily trade places with him. Then there is hope. Rest, David. Tomorrow will be a big day. This is it. The Temple of the White Power. I'll be here when you return. If you return. You're not coming in? Anyone who enters is judged. I am a guardian, not a seeker of power. There's no door. How do we... Huh? It glowed red when you touched it. And it glowed yellow for you. Quick, everybody, all at once! All rangers put their hands on the door. The lights rotate from red to yellow to blue to pink to black. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Well done. The door's been opened for you. Many are already killed at this point, but the temple has judged you worthy to enter, likely because of your connection to the power coins. You mean we could have died touching this thing? Dulcia smiles. Nice of you to warn us. I guess we should head inside. I didn't touch anything. Great. No way out. We weren't planning on leaving without the coin anyway. Look at all the curveless lines in the rock. This temple reminds me of the old Aztec ones back on Earth. Careful, Trini. You're starting to sound like Billy. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? We can't have two smart people on the team. Silence! You have been judged worthy to get this far. But you will get no further. You seek the coin's power. You wish to restore your friend to life. I see it all in your minds. You're reading our minds? Oh yes, you are simple beings. It is quite easy. I am the guardian of this temple. You may call me Saba. Look over there, on that stone slab. Saba? Your talking sword? Ah yes, young people. Innocence as the power it usually chooses. Okay, Saba. You know we're here for the coin. We're not leaving without it. So tell us what to do so we can get this over with. This is not a test of might or a test of will. This is a test of character. I will scan each of your minds, and if I judge Tommy Oliver to be worthy, I will allow you to take the coin. If not... Then, you will die. You'd leave the Earth unprotected from Zed? You knew the risks coming here. And your world is still protected by your allies. What do you need us to do? Nothing. Just stand there and open your minds. I will do the rest. Scorpina and Rita meet at an abandoned lot on the outskirts of San Francisco. Um, I'm here. What do you need me to do? 
What you do best, just bigger. What? I've been studying a new spell. This one will bring forth your inner self, the way that you wish others to see you, and I will add a little spice of giant growth. Draw the rangers out and keep them busy. And if I die? Then it was nice working with you. <laughs> or did you prefer their prison cell? Dona Rica, Dolph Neck, Day and Day, Scopina Dolph Rock, Scopina da Cala, Dolph Ne Giganto. Make my Scorpina grow. Rita drives the staff into the ground power blasting from it and into Scorpina. Scorpina changes shape. She transforms into a giant bipedal scorpion monster. Her hands become pincers. A stinger grows from her back. This just in. We're getting reports of... A giant scorpion attacking downtown San Francisco? Is that right? Me and my big mouth. Zed sent a monster this time. That's not Zed's. Senses indicate that creature is Scorpina. That's Scorpina? Yes, baby. It would appear that Rita is not happy living as a human after all. Well, at least the name fits now. All right, Rangers, let's go down there. Billy, you're the senior ranger here. Want to do the honors? Sure. It's morphin' time! Triceratops! Dragon Thunder Power! Lion Thunder Power! Griffin Thunder Power! Phoenix Thunder Power! Let's hope Kaku finish those upgrades. We need Thunder Zord Power now! Mastodon, Lion, Thunderzord Power. Pterodactyl Phoenix, Thunderzord Power. Triceratops, Pegasus, Thunderzord Power. Sabertooth, Tiger Griffin, Thunderzord Power. Tyrannosaurus, Red Dragon, Thunderzord Power. Thunder Megasword! Sequence engaged! The newly formed Thunder Megazord unsheaths its Thunder Saber and marches towards Scorpina. Ah, uh, about time. Nice new toy, Rangers. <laughs> that hurt. Stay on her. I don't think so. She's got her claws on the Megazord. Oh no, they're glowing. That can't be good. <laughs> We're losing power. Ah, I see. Kimberly Hart, you love him as a mate. David Oliver, you as a brother. Zach and Trini as a friend and ally. But Jason, you are not sure you wish him to return. Jason, what are you doing? Yeah, stop messing this up. I'm not! That isn't true! You feel guilt for his death. You want him alive again, but you also wish that Kimberly would move on so that she can be with you. Is that not so? I- Jason, what is the matter with you? No, I... Maybe. Yes, I may think about it at times, but that doesn't outweigh me wanting him back. I know that Kimberly and I will never be together, and, and, and her feelings for him trump whatever we had, whether he's alive or not. 
Zachary, you are lonely. You wish this one, Tree, would stop chasing after the one called Billy. You think he does not deserve her affection. Whoa, when did this become about me? You wish for Trini to turn to you instead. I thought you were judging Tommy, not us. I will judge him by judging all of you. I will see his intentions through yours. It's not like that, Trini. I love Billy. I would never try to steal his girl. And you, David Oliver. Do your worst. I've got nothing I'm ashamed about. You have taken up the mantle for the wrong reasons. The coin thinks you good, but I do not believe it. You only want revenge. A dangerous thing for a ranger. I do want revenge, but I want my little brother more. I'll do anything, even if that means I have to die in this place. I believe you. I believe all of you. So you'll bring Tommy back? I said I believed you. But Tommy Oliver is not worthy of the White Tiger coin. What? Why not? Because he is so easily transformed to evil. Because of the death he caused on your world, his victims would call his death justice. He was brainwashed. That wasn't him. How can you be sure? Because every day since he joined us, he was making up for what he did. He didn't allow himself to be happy for one day as the Green Ranger. He saved millions on Doomsday, billions even. He deserves a second chance to live, to be happy. He had so much life left to live. How can you be sure he will use it well? Because he is a good man. Look at our memories, you will see it. Look past the evil and see his soul. What he did when he wasn't controlled. You speak well. You speak with love. And I know from your minds the man Tommy Oliver was. What he could become. As the Green Ranger, he did terrible evil. But in his last moments, he saved so many. Gave his life for your world. As the White Ranger. He will be so much more. What? Are you- I have reached my decision. I will grant you the coin, but be warned that with great power comes great risk. I will see you soon. The Rangers all cover their eyes as blinding white light shoots out, Saba fading away into it. All of the light in the place funnels into a concentrated area, forming into a power coin. The White Tiger Power Coin. Behind them, the wall splits once more and opens. My god! We did it! David grabs the coin. Tears well in his eyes. We got it! Rangers! Kaku? We must leave, now! I will land as close to you as I can. Lord Zed is here! What? what? How? They do not get an answer. Running out into the jungle and meeting up with Dulcia again. You're alive? You have it then? David holds up the coin. Yeah, but we have to go. So do you. The Rangers and Dulcia look up as the sky breaks and Zed fighters break through, charging down for them. Lord Zed, I will not run. This is my domain to protect, and I will do just that. A head teleports in many, many Zed warriors and golems, charging in for them. It's Muffin time! Pegasus Thunder Power! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Sabertooth Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! The Rangers morph just in time fire raining down from above as the fighters open fire on the area. The colored light blasting and from it comes the five rangers. Jason bringing down a flying kick into one of the warriors. 
He then forms his power sword, swinging it for two putties. Kaku, we need you down here! Jason yells, rolling as the fighters come in for another bombing run. He and the others are blasted and sent flying. Landing hard on the ground, now surrounded by the ground forces, they open fire on the rangers, the team just able to leap out of the way, but still hit with several stray shots. Trainee! Kaku's ship charges downwards just in time, opening fire and destroying two of the Zed fighters, Kaku bringing the ship around to land. The rangers stand and run for the craft as the ramp lowers. Behind them, Dulcea continues to fight, hitting Zed's forces with her bow staff, taking several down one after the other. Dulcea! Go! Now! She yells and takes down another gold trooper as he goes for her. She is now being surrounded. No! The blue thunder ranger runs in, kicking into the crowd and helping her fight them back. The two go back to back. I told you to leave. I came here to save my brother, not to let anyone else die. In the cockpit, Kaku watches as the rangers are cut off from him, being overwhelmed by the forces. And worse still, they are shot down upon from above by the remaining fighters. He closes his eyes and stands. Jason looks up, the others soon joining him. As from the ramp walks Master Kaku, warriors rush for him. His hands glow a white light as he thrusts them out, blasting the enemy away with his glowing fists of power. He takes down one after the other, fighting his way towards them. As he does, the rangers begin to see his face sinking, his hair growing white, the use of his powers accelerating the planet's effects on him. All the years he cheated catching up on him in moments. No! Go back to the ship! Run! Zack yells as he sees this, but Kaku knows it is the only way. He battles his way to them, finishing with a pounding strike into the earth. The blast, sending all the enemies around him flying. He now reaches Jason. You have it? We do. Good. I have set the autopilot for Earth. Go. Now. We won't leave you. You'll die. That is inevitable at this point. I have lived my life. Tommy still can have his to live. Go. Jason gives in, nodding and then rising up and beginning to run for the landed ship. Everyone onto the ship now. The rangers fight off whatever they are battling and break off, running to follow. David is the last. Go, David. Come with us. I will not leave my world. You must get the coin to Earth. Save your brother. David lowers his head. He knows she is right. He runs, taking off and driving his sword into three enemies on the way to the ship. It is then that he sees Kaku. Master! Kaku smiles, now looking almost a hundred years old and nods at him. David buries his feelings and runs at super speed as fast as his powers will take him. A blue flash zooms through the crowd, taking out several foes ahead of him before it heads up the ramp and stops inside the ship. He removes his helmet once there. The others have already done the same. Jason at the cockpit controls. Strap it! We can't leave without him! He's gone, David. He knew that the moment he came out to help us. He knows what he's doing. We have to go. Engaging autopilot. I think. The engines roar to life as inside, the rangers are seated and buckle up. They all look out of the large cockpit windows, seeing Dulcia and Kaku still holding the remaining forces back. But more keep beaming in. Kaku looks ancient now, beginning to fade. My god. The engines roar to life, blasting them away and into the atmosphere above. The last they see of them both 
is the two of them being swarmed as though by an army of ants. No. As they break into orbit, they see the large destroyer looming ahead. Holy shit! Several fighters fly towards them to engage, the capital ship opening fire on them. Cloaking device engaged. With a shimmer, the vessel fades away and is gone. The ship then uses several automated maneuvers to evade the attackers. Moments later, they are back at light speed. Trini places a hand on his shoulder from her chair. Ahead of her, Jason turns his silver seat towards David. You have it? David nods, producing the coin from his pocket. Holding it up, it shines under the ship's light. Yeah, now we need to know if this was worth it. We lost Master Kaku. We lost Lucia. Their deaths are going to be meaningless if this coin can't do what they say. Let's see if it has the power to bring Tommy back. <laughs> 